Hello. Welcome to Mobile Apps Academy. In this tutorial, we'll implement a floating action button just like assistive touch using Swift UI. Codebase is hosted on the GitHub. Link is provided in the description. In case if you are interested in only seeing the code, here are the editor screen. Inside, content view script and add a Z stack. Set its background to black. Let its frame match the screen by setting up to infinity on both max width and max height. Also, make it to ignore the safe area. Create a Swift UI script. Name it as assistive floating button. I have added an image view with circular background inside of a stack along with a spacer. As you can see, this is not a button. We need two things make it work and look like a button. One is button click animation and another is button action. To create the button click animation, we need to blink the button on tap, add a state variable of type double and set its value to one and set the opacity of circle view to this variable. To detect the tap, add on tap gesture modifier on circle view, change its opacity on tap with animation. Tap gesture is not broadcasting any actions. To get the tap callbacks, add an action closure and call it inside on tap gesture. Let's start positioning our button. Wrap complete V stack inside our H stack with spacer and H stack inside a geometry reader. We need geometry reader to calculate the position of the button and place it accordingly. Geometry reader gives us a geometry proxy which we will use it to set the position inside position modifier. And at the end, we add the drag gesture and reset the position to left or right. Here is the end result. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching.